Today is uh, the 28th of June. It's the third day of the uh, CBA 11 conference. Uh, one of the parts of the annual CBA conference that we try and do every year, wherever we hold it, is to encourage someone else to organize a parallel youth conference where they can bring together lots of young people because wherever we hold the conference, many people want to attend and unfortunately we can't accommodate all of them. But we do encourage them to help have a separate parallel meeting where some of the international participants from our conference can go to them. And then at the end of our conference, they can come and uh, read a statement from the youth of that country. So uh, the Makarere University, our local partner in Uganda, have organized a two-day youth conference in parallel to uh, the CBA 11 conference at a hotel just a couple of kilometers away from us. And so early this morning I went to that conference to open it and it was amazing. They have about 150 young people from mainly from universities, from Makarere and many other universities in Uganda. Quite a few from other countries, from Ethiopia, uh, from uh, Kenya and even from Nepal and India. Uh, and they had some very interesting sessions that I attended for a while and then I had to come back to our CBA conference. Um, today's um, major sessions in the CBA 11 conference is a new and innovative uh, aspect of the conference where we have teamed up with the UN Framework Convention Climate Change uh, Secretariat on uh, what they call the NAP Expos, National Adaptation Plans Expo that they hold every year they hold a big one in Bonn and they are now doing them in the regions and this is the region, regional NAP Expo for Africa which they merged with the CBA 11 conference. So today uh, was essentially sessions um, related to the NAP, the National Adaptation Plans, uh, but also hearing with uh, involving many of the non-governmental actors who are here for CBA 11, so trying to mix up the bottom up and the top down at the national level in national adaptation planning. And we've just finished the last session of the day and we've had some very good feedback so far. Tomorrow's the last day of the CBA 11 and I'll be reporting about the outcomes at the end of tomorrow.